Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we would like to talk about thermal velocity of the electron. Let us talk about a little background of this. But why shall we talk about this? We know current is defined as rate of flow of charges. Actually, the charges that they flows is electrons, but the conventional current is against the direction of electrons because electron electrons are having negative charge. Current is rate of flow of positive charges. So we can say the current direction flow is against of electrons. So if the current has to flow in any material. that shall have actually free electrons the element having that free electrons are called something like a conductors they are being called like conductors so conductors have that free electrons what do that free electrons will be doing in a conductor in general is a kind of a discussion now so this is that kind of a conductor there are so many electrons each one having some motion why do they have some motion we can draw similarities this is similar to that of a kinetic theory of gases as if like the uh, so the molecules of a gas are having a random motion in a container this is similar like electrons who are not attached to any of the atom in any conductor or a metal are free to move and they are called something like a free electrons so these are all the uh, say free electrons these free electrons are ran having random motion because of the temperature that they have the temperature we need not give separately there is a room temperature so what we can say due to room temperature like molecules they have some energy that energy could be called like a thermal energy as per the law of distribution of the heat and kinetic theory of gases that is equal to 3 by 2 k into t where k is a constant called boltzmann's constant who has a value close to 1.38 into 10 power minus 23 in si system and t is the absolute temperature so if you consider approximately the room temperature as 27 degrees centigrade room temperature is approximately around 27 degrees centigrade we have to convert that into kelvin so in general in a normal kind of a country like we are in india there is approximately room temperature of this much so the gas molecules will be having this much of energy all this energy thermal energy this thermal energy is converted into kinetic energy and the electrons do having a random motion so by equating this thermal energy to kinetic energy half mv square equal to 3 by 2 times of kt substituting these values approximately say mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 velocity of electron you want to find out k value as i said earlier it is something like 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 in si system room temperature is around 300 kelvin if you calculate this you will get velocity of electron approximately as 10 to the power 5 meter per second this velocity is called something like thermal velocity See, this is a very big velocity, thermal velocity. But the problem with this thermal velocity is it's in random way. Is in random. Electrons are moving inside a material in a random way. So it goes like this. It collides with somebody. Goes like this. Collides with somebody. Goes like this. Collides with somebody. Goes like this. It will be keep on moving. So in many of the cases. the initial position of electron is not 
different from that of final position means what the displacement is zero that means what there is no effective flow of electrons because they are all well disorganized hence no flow of current so if the current has to be flown all these electrons has to be uh, say ordered or else organized in a particular way if that has to be done for the current to flow we need the support of external agency support of external agency that's what comes into the picture like a external agency like a potential difference or a so electric field that is generated we can generate that electric field with a potential difference and in turn to need that electric field we need potential difference that's why it is mandatory for the current to flow from one place to another place between the given points there shall be a potential difference because the applied potential difference will generate an electric field electric field will regulate the unorganized motion of these electrons and see that uh, if you apply some electric field they all go in a proper way so they can move from one direction to another direction then we can experience current thus though the thermal velocity is large that's not able to produce actually any current in any metal and we need an external support thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you